So, I just I just woke up. Um, I decided to join John for a speed session today, meaning he's gonna teach me how to do some speed. Most no, he's not. He's mostly just gonna show us how to how to what what a speed session looks like, and like if you were to train someone who has like V four speed experience, which is me. No. <laughs> what no. he would? Oh, uh, you'll see. <laughs> no. <laughs> you'll, see. you'll tell me what grade you think of a speed climber. I am. We'll, okay. we'll see that. I, I ran like I think my fastest time was like an eight two. That's probably like V ten. No speed way. Speed climbing, maybe. I don't the, know. This guy. This guy's giving me all the soft grades. <laughs> I'll be happy if my very first run, I can run. Under a nine. I'll buy you a coffee if you do it. He'll buy me a coffee if I run under a nine my first run. If I run under five seven my first run, I'll be happy. Five seven. Five point seven. seven seconds. <laughs> On the very first run. If you guys don't know John, I'm gonna put a link right here. You've probably stopped the video now and like go check out his Instagram or watch a link on him crushing. He's how many times have you been a national champion? Ten. He's ten-time ten time <laughs> our national champion in speed. He is the fastest we have in our country. Um, he competed at nationals, but unfortunately had not the greatest qualifier. It was a rough day. It was a rough but day. Was okay. <laughs> but he did run like the national record in practice. Uh, but it doesn't matter because he's already on U.S. team. That's how good he is. He's already on U.S. team. Uh, but mostly we're just going to understand a little bit about like speed prep and because I don't think anyone really knows like what a speed day looks like. Um, but kind of want to show you guys like what what the best climber in the nation looks like, just in a different category. Because <laughs> that's what this vlog is about. Um, I'm curious. In the comments, you guys should just write down if you have speed climbed or you haven't before. Just write in the comments like I have sped, I have not speeded. I'll spell that speeded. I have speeded. I have not spitted. A lot of Russian speed climbers, so we just say it kind of Russian. Spud. 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 That's how they do it in Russian? No, I don't know. Oh. I train every day. Speed wool. <laughs> speed wool. <laughs> speed wool. <laughs> I win World Cups. <laughs> I am goat. I am goat. I am goat. <laughs> Alright, bro. I'll see you there. Okay. Oh, oh no. That... Yeah, you see. So uh, oh no! Look, I love these tins, uh, and I'm really supposed to do a good job of promoting these tins. But this is one of the reasons why I don't like the tins. Uh, <laughs> I'm being brutally it's honest. Sustainable, it's recyclable. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> hey, do you want collagen on the bench or plastic in the ocean? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, this is way better than plastic in the ocean. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. You said yoga and jump, jump rope. rope. First. Ah! Yeah. Eighty. Oh, there you go. Look at those calves, dude. Wow. Yeah. So this is stuff that honestly I should and maybe can. Can and should implement in my personal warm up. Um, I think nowadays I usually just like do a little bit of mobility and then I just hop straight on the wall. Zach told me this once like, the ideal warm up is supposed to be like cardio followed by mobility uh -huh. followed by resistance. What's resistance? Like, like shoulder bands, climbing, uh, little, like using your muscles basically. So, cardio, mobility, and then resistance. Yeah. All right, Zach's the US team PT, so you should probably listen to that. Oh, dude, we gotta film our, our post-climbing Guitar Hero session. Oh, we do. That's like the real speed training. How long would you say it takes before you pull on the wall for your first time? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We're gonna ask John a lot of questions today. If you guys are curious about doing like a Q&A on like Instagram Live or something, um, post a comment down below. How many sessions like this do you have per week? Um, in like peak every, training? Every other day. Every other day. Oh, obvious question. How long have you been speed climbing? 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. How long have you been climbing climbing? Climbing climbing? 14 years. 
14 years. Okay, so four years in, you, you started. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. One thing that I tried doing recently is I would do like most of my warm up with my eyes closed. With your eyes closed? Like the like the yoga stuff and like the mobility stuff. Oh. And like, like usually like I'm listening to music and it like helps me be present, like especially uh -huh. for a competition. Yeah. And it also like really is good for like warming up your like body awareness and yeah. coordination and that kind of thing. So just for a little bit of reference, I maybe have done eight speed sessions in my entire life total. My very first session was like four hours long, just like really nailing the beta. I think I ran like a sub 10 second run my first session, for, but that was like five or six years ago with Ross. Sean, what are you doing? I'm jumping and I'm grabbing all at the same time. <laughs> Do that again. Jump and grab at the same time one more time. He, John's been doing this. This is like at least the 10. Wow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's been doing this as the warm-up. Like, I thought we were gonna come spray wall and climb, like how Clay and I are doing, you know? Normal climbing, but John's just here jumping and grabbing. I'm just here jumping and grabbing. That seems far more efficient. That's the name of the game, he's jumping and grabbing. Ah, oh, you're jumping and grabbing some pretty bad holds. Yeah, well like, it's like progressive, like I start easy and I get right. harder. Um, I try to pick like block holds and like weird orientations oh. too, to like warm up the hand-eye coordination a little bit. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. 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 Ooh. Off the cramp? Now we're done with the spray wall. That's crazy. Yeah. The guy didn't put his shoes on once. Wow. That's crazy. Tim's gonna do it. Yeah, there you go. And you can like switch legs and get a lot of pop off the top. <laughs> nice work. That's exhausting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's do this. Do you have any like mental verbal cues or something for yourself before you go on a run? Uh, first, like two uh, runs, kind of just like a throwaway. And then while I'm training, it like depends on each run, like how I did on like my previous run, I think. Like, it's just one thing that helps me stay focused. Like, I'll try to um, pick like one little thing or like have one little goal per, per run yeah and that might not even be like get this time but it's sometimes like do this move well or gotcha. like think about this at this point on the wall gotcha. or just like any little thing you can think of that would like make a difference wow that is a smooth throwaway run oh my god that says five seven four. If you guys are curious, that was his first run. That was his throwaway run. That's absurd. How'd that feel? Um, felt very like smooth and nice. It looked like almost zero effort. It looked like backwards effort. Backwards effort. It looked like you're trying to not try that hard. How long in between your throwaway runs? Um, seven minutes between every run. Every run period. Every run period. Okay. Come on, Tim. Come on, dude. Sick. Hey, that was pretty good. That's a coffee. I don't think it felt as easy as John made his run look, but. <laughs> yeah, like, you didn't really hesitate that much. And, like, no. the muscle memory is still there, which is yeah. sick. Wow, that was really good. Holy balls, dude. Tim's about to go for a second run here. All right, dog, you ready? Come on, dude. Sick. Oh, that's all right. My start was so bad. So you said you were gonna try harder. I, I, yeah, Do you I, feel like you did? My, my foot never. Okay, John basically pointed out that for this part where you do like the one-handed dyno, and you go like right foot stabs on, like you go like left hand to that pinch, and then your right foot stabs on here. Mm -hmm. My body sways really far to the left. So I should just stay more in like that line. John and I's starts are obviously very different. He does a Tomoa skip, which is like basically just hand foot match on this hold to go straight up and you skip that hold. And I'm doing like super OG children beta. Super OG. <laughs> so it's on photo right now. If you're listening to music, you can do that. And it doesn't stop the music. <laughs> I, I've never seen that. Let's go beast.
Oh yeah. That's power. Yeah, John! <laughs> Dude, literally a tenth of a second faster in every single run. Dude, good job. Thank you. 5-4, baby. See how I like oh, kind of yeah. like stop before I keep moving up? I set up my feet again. Oh yeah, yeah, your smear like slips too. Yeah, but then I turned it back on afterwards, which was good. And then as a result of that, my body position was kind of weird here. Like gotcha. you, you want to stay more square for this move and see how much my right hip turned in yeah. there. Ideally, you want to be more square. But again, again, the win there is I was able to still run clean even though my body position wasn't great. Interesting. Dude, that was sick. Thank you. And a lot of improvement that you could do. Your potential run is crazy good. Yeah, yeah, I'm psyched about it. I'm yeah, psyched about wow. it for sure. Five, four, nine, dude. Nice, okay, sick. Uh, I'm gonna try to start a bunch of times. I'm not gonna actually have a full run. Uh -huh. And then John will film me, flail, and give me some tips. Yeah, you did the move. That was pretty sick. That's basically what it is. That's basically That's what it is. Part. Yeah, <laughs> so you're gonna wanna the foot is kind of scary. Yeah. So like you're gonna want to get two hands, two hands in the jug, and like just swing even more. Like okay. it looked like you were trying to pull, okay. and then it like pushed you like way too far away from the wall. Okay. But it's easier to just like keep your like left hip close okay. and like swing like way around. All right, dude, you got it. Oh no, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, better. Sick. That was a pretty smooth one. And you could even hold on for longer. Do you notice how when you come out of it, you're like way to the left? Yeah. If you hold on to it longer, it, it'll like, you'll swing more around. Okay. Yeah, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, dude. Hey, dude, this man is killing it. He's training like a speed climber. That's pretty exciting that like... Look at him go. That feels like a really bad run. Yeah? But that was... Sick work. Among my faster times. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh! In my mind, that's like a really straightforward slip. Like, you just miss, but like, is there anything that happens there in yeah. your mind that's... So what happened was... I said I wanted to do well, really well. Yeah. Honestly, I was like so close to the wall in a good way, but I wasn't used to it. My body position was oh. different. I'm bruising my tips, man. It hurts. It hurts, dude. It hurts. That's the name of the game. Do you want some Tylenol? No, I'm good. So he said his goal for this one is to do that mash above the dyno well, and then also climb out of it well. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it slipped. Ah. Oh. Yeah, come on, keep going, keep going. Come on, dude. Sick. Come on, Tim. There you go. Starting the slower speed climber wound right there. was way faster. Yeah? Like, just thinking about it as a mechanic, I was like, okay, yeah. roll over the foot, grab the hold, uh -huh. not like dyno to it. All right, what's the focus this time? The focus this time is to try to do this like match move in the middle and ball a little bit better. I, if I had a run like that, I would just like pull straight back on. All right, John's switching sides because the sun is a little bit more heinous over there. And he says like for mental training, it's good to switch sides just because you never know which side you're going to get on. So basically what happened was I just ran a run and John counted to three because our ideal runs are three seconds apart and then John would just leave after he counted to three and uh, he beat me by it was really close. like three tenths it was of a so second. Exciting. We both slipped. It was great. <laughs> yeah, we both slipped. I, I definitely like the start was really bad for me, um, but then I caught up like the middle, which is not bad. Um, that was fun. Solid yeah. <laughs> Great content. Good job. Good shit. I'm sorry. Thanks for all the tips, dude. dude. Of course, anytime. Yeah. Now, now I can be more confident when I run this thing like once a year. 
I think in the future, depending on like the response that we get from this, we can do something slightly more informative. Um, everything that we did today was just like really basic surface level stuff. This is just John's day. This is this is what he does like in the training cycle. You said like three to four days a week. But this is like the basis of my training for sure. And yeah. So it's like th this is the structure. Yeah. I switch up the number like like the number of runs and the rest times and sometimes I do doubles. Cool. That's like pretty much it. Yeah. But th this is like the skeleton of like what I do year round for sure. Nice. Wow, that's yeah. really insane and cool to open my eyes up to that. Thanks for giving us your day, dude. Mm, of course. Yeah. I'll Anytime. see you at home. <laughs> Post speed training. We cemented everything we learned today. <laughs> John's kind of cracked at guitar here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Jeez, that is a lot of power. Sleep more, cry less. Pro tip. <laughs> I'm gonna trademark that. Wow. That's sick. There we go. How many do you do those? Uh, three per side, three sets, three minutes rest. Nice. It's like my my magic number for like all power workouts is three. Perfect. Yeah. That's a light power day. That's a light power day. Hell yeah. There we go. Good work, man. Thank you very much. All right, and if uh, any of you guys want to speed climb, that's how you do it. Call me. <laughs> yeah. Call this guy. Call tell him. Me. Tell him he's weak sauce. Here's my cell phone number. <laughs> yep. Right That's there. his cell phone number? Yep. Just call him. Just call me. Just tell him, like, I want to speed climb and I'm going to kick your 